So I'm in my bathroom, not feeling good at all, right? And let me tell you what, for the guys out there who have a woman with hyperemesis gravidarium, it's also shortened down to HG, understand it, it is like we have a hangover without actually having fun. We just had fun for one night and we have a hangover for the rest of the pregnancy. There are very few women who get rid of this in the first trimester. I am currently in my sink and I just got done hurling. I am pale and I feel miserable. Whatever you do, I know it is gross we are puking, but I promise you, just treat your woman as if she has got the flu. It, our mouth starts salivating and we get this bubbly saliva like we're a dog with rabies. It's disgusting. So gross. And then, what do your husband, what well, my husband do? <laughs> he gets grossed out by vomiting. He'll literally walk away and go, no, he doesn't hold my hair back. No, but no, mm -mm, no. And even if you can't deal with vomiting, at least get her a wet rag while she's puking. Get her a cup of ice. Ask her if she needs any saltines, anything. If she has celiac disease, just get some gluten-free stuff. If you're in a state, oh my God, give her some THC if you're in a state where it's legal for crying out loud. Ah, it works. No, I don't get to do it. I'm in a state where I will go to prison. I have been cursed moving to Texas. Yes. So, hmm, uh, you have lots of medicines. For example, let me get the ones I have. Where are they? Let's see. All right. Here's one, two. Oh, I have to go pick up another one. Uh, where's the fenugrin? Four, five. So Zofran, the dissolvable ones. Ask her OB for this for her sake. It's great after we're done puking, and you just. Where's mine? They come in these little things. Put one in your wallet, please. So if you're out with your woman, give her one. I don't. I don't care if you both are lesbian or straight. I don't care. Whoever is pregnant, please bring an Odansatron, a dissolvable one. And I would really like one, so I'm going to show you what to do. It's also known as Zofran. And it's this little tiny pill. My daughter has celiac. It's the same thing she takes if she just can't stop vomiting. Only if she gets glutenized, which... Makes me bitter when she tries to sneak that one goldfish. However, hypermesis, hyper, sorry, hyperemesis, gravidarium, HG. Zofran, under your tongue. Uh, dissolve. Tastes kind of like rotten toothpaste, in my opinion. Reglan, diclegis. Also, if you don't want to do any actual prescription prescriptions, here is B6. Reglan and Diclegis, from my understanding, are similar to a dose of these two. Come on, focus. So, this is B6, Unisome. This personally works better for me than anything else. Also, I know it's a great, great woman who sells CBD oil. Great. I mean, I can ask her if I can put a link on my YouTube channel just so you guys can consider it. I'm not trying to sell you anything. The crap works. I want you to know, it works. So why would I call it crap? It's a freaking magic. You can do all sorts of stuff. Where's my CBD? Oh, and CBD is legal everywhere. You can get pulled over with it. It's legal everywhere anywhere you can smoke a cigarette you can even do a vape pen with pure cbd you're okay i even have it in my pocket oh, she gave me this stuff cbd and it's got some eucalyptus in it i rub it here and i rub it here and personally i like rubbing it on the spine of my neck 
and that just stays in my pocket. There are so many amazing things you can do, but please, please treat your woman as if she has a flu and a hangover together. It's horrible. It's horrible. And if you've been diagnosed with this, you're going to be in and out of the hospital for basically dehydration. You're going to get sick. You're going to get dehydrated. You're going to want to eat something. It's going to come right back up. Like, no joke. And I look like poop and I don't care. You just don't care. I've been in the hospital. I've been admitted. I've fainted. I've passed out. And it's all from being dehydrated. You're going to get pale. For example, yesterday we called 911. I was in my shower over there screaming in pain sweating from pain it was i think it was just dehydration and it was internal pain and then you get constipated and you're dehydrated and it's horrible please just be nice to your woman oh, please my husband sucks when it comes to puking but he's really great at getting me whatever i need outside the puking or he will get me a puke bowl really fast he'll hop out of bed and run and get it he just can't deal with the puking process. So consider that, please, to kind of give you my one-on-one. -on -one. This isn't really like educational, it's more like about my experience and maybe what will help you not get your head bit off by your woman. Because we get very snippy. God, do we get snippy. Probably like bit my husband's head off and like spit it back out like 20 times. It's like, I look at him with like laser eyes and I want to go pew, pew, and just like blow his head up like a cartoon. However, it doesn't work that way. You go to jail. So, no cartoons. Um, good luck. B6. Unisome. Good focus. So, you got these. And then you got Reglin. You got Diclegis. You got Zofran. You got a lot of stuff. Fenegrin makes you, I think it's called Fenegrin. That one. There's like a suppository and it's in the fridge. I haven't tried it out yet. But you cannot do that one with other stuff. So make sure you are 100% which ones you can take together. You can, I think it's, you can't do like the oral fenugreek one or whatever and the suppository because they both work together. I haven't tried it out, but good luck on you. Let me know how it goes. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and just leave something in the comment about like what works best for you. So for me, Pick your husband's sink to puke in. I sink that way. Not once. No. Mm -mm. I don't care what he says. All right, well, I'm going to see. I puked up all my water I drank. Oh, I puked up my coffee and it came out my nose. That was gross. Ew. Have fun. Good luck. Be nice to her. Okay. Mwah. Bye.